is where I'm working. I've been here about four months now, so it's still kind of getting settled in. Um, got quite a lot of space at the moment, but it's going to get busier and busier. human freed me up then to, to try and make an impression and try and make the sort of sculpture I wanted to make. Um, I think I'm just fascinated with the human body and what it can do. I'm currently working on this piece which is taking up quite a lot of room. Um, yeah, it's slowly starting to take shape. This is for a competition. Um, by someone called the Worshipful Company of Founders. Um, they set this competition every two years to try and encourage sculptors who are in the early stages of their career to make um, uh, a sculpture using the figure and to use bronze as a medium. The theme this year was flight in terms of refugees. I wanted to have this quite hopeful figure, this sort of mo forward movement. Um, I didn't want to make sort of three quite miserable um, backward looking figures, I wanted to have three which were in movement, this one very much sort of hopeful and striving forward, this one represents perhaps something that's someone who's sort of heading into the unknown and then kind of disappearing, and then this one is just almost an island of silence really, it just, it's, it's just a solitary figure. So the whole process starts with the sketches, how, yeah, how it yeah. all starts? Yeah, so sketches, so when I have an idea of what I want to make, I get my sketchbook and I just draw and just keep drawing and just keep making up sort of ideas and then they develop and they can be really quite loose sketches at first, um, which if I looked at now might not even uh, look like anything, but um, they develop and develop. tools to use and um, how do you do that? Well, I use a combination of my hands first with the clay and especially at the beginning I can put quite broad pieces of clay on to describe the, the forms um, and then I use a series of wooden tools which can which you can use to draw a line or to apply small pieces of clay just to unify the texture. Um, I also use these um, loop tools, these wire tools which I've um, carve these little notches out to, to get a more serrated edge which helps me to just unify form and describe the form and the way a form is turning almost like sort of pencil marks on a surface um, and here you can see how I've just tried to scoop out to just affect the light a bit differently. And what do you prefer? You prefer work with your hand or um, just... Yeah it depends on what piece what part of it I'm working on but I try and do most of the work with my hands um, and then when it gets to a stage where it's tiny little details, then it, it comes down to using this. Um, at the beginning, you're using a, a, a tool like this, which is almost like a knife, because you, you're drawing on a lot. So a lot of these lines here, I would have drawn with this. And when I'm first starting out and I'm trying to find the anatomy, I would use a tool like this to really describe where things are. And then go in further and then use, using my hands, just applying clay just to add to areas quite quickly. Hi, hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. This is Thomas. This is Alice. Mother. Hi. Hi. Hello. Sorry. Lena, good to see you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Thanks for uh, coming. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I think it's changed since you last saw It's it. changed yeah. a bit. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't have anything on it, just the separate figure. So when Alex was last here, it was just the three figures were all separate and they weren't all together and they didn't have any of the sort of um, extra, the mass around it. So, yeah. <laughs> 
So when you come every time you're checking the results as well, you're interested to see. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and how does it feel like to see yourself, um, like sculpture made of yourself? Well, I don't, I don't really see myself in it. Mm. It's, as I think, it's a bit the same as in. I think with drawing, I do look to see a bit of myself, but with photography and sculpture, I don't really. It's more about the composition or the result or the. Mm, mm, I can't. I can't mm. catch the word. But it's you know, it's different. It's an object. It's not me. It's a thing right. in itself. Mm. Yeah. I have an idea of what I want to make, but um, I never am really sure what it's going to look like at the end. Um, I think, like I said, it's it's uh, it's important to keep your sort of mind open, really, and be able to be willing to change things. Um, quite often, I'll, I'll I'll change things quite drastically, and I used to find it it felt like a great um, step backwards when I sort of changed something quite that I worked on for a long time. But when I sort of realised that that is actually that's a step forward and not a step backwards, and it made me much more confident in 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 changing things and moving things if they weren't right. So. Um, yeah, I think not being scared to change things is, is, is good for the development of, of the sculpture you're trying to make. And how do you define when, it's, when you like your work, when it's good or not? Like, if there are some criteria, mm -hmm. so you think this work is definitely good and this one is not really... I think, I th I think if, you, if you've achieved what you wanted to achieve, um, Difficult. I think you can always continue and always you always find something else and push something to 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 complete it. But um, I think there comes a stage when you are satisfied with the work and you're happy then to then go and make a mold and cast it um, and have it as a finished piece. But even then, I mean, sculpture is such a long process. It's like it's like a marathon. been involved or interested in art. Um, my father's an architect so I was always sort of being dragged around places to look at buildings um, and I think from an early age I wanted to be an architect but I saw his whole um, building, um, his practice change completely from you know, when I was a little kid going to his office and seeing him and, and others just drawing on a, on a um, uh, over a sort of um, drawing board and then as as um, I reached the age where I was making decisions about what I wanted to do his office had completely changed and it had become a paperless office and there it was all on computer oh, right. and it was really it was the um, the, the process of making and, and developing ideas through drawings which was interesting to me um, so I changed my mind when I was studying at school and decided I didn't want to be a an architect or an engineer, I wanted to pursue a career in, yeah. in art or craft. Yeah. Um, Most recently I've been, I had a commission from the new craftsman um, who worked in collaboration with Burberry during their um, fashion show last year. Uh, it was called Maker's House and the idea was that there'd be several different artists and craftsmen who were all making during the show they were making something to do with their own craft um, and I was commissioned to be there during the whole show to create a live sculpture so I created this piece um, just basically so evolved as the show went on so um, I went there with a small idea of what I wanted to make but it was really quite a fluid idea that would ad adapt and evolve over the uh, over the course of the whole show, so as I talk to people and discuss things, I change things. Um, right. It was frustrating at times because I didn't have a model and it was working from imagination. And sometimes you just want to see how something works. But um, yeah, it's uh, it was a, it was a nice opportunity. It was strange because I was working with 
thousands of people walking around, so it was quite an unusual scenario. And what do you think uh, art means to our lives? I think it has an effect on people um, which can make you completely be outside of the moment that you're in and you, you can um, completely forget about all the stuff that's going on around you at one time and, and, and it can just be and disappear in a moment of artistic appreciation and yeah. I think that's the power of art. Have you ever had occasion when you were not happy and you would deliberately break your sculpture or angry, um, like emotional, <laughs> and um, destroy your sculpture? No, no, I don't think I've ever really destroyed something. Um, I think things get chucked away because they have to, um, but I've never, never sort of in violence or anger. Uh, I think that it can be frustrating at times when you when you're trying to make something and you don't capture what you want to make. No, I didn't. I didn't throw it out the window. <laughs>